Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward, it's a profi pack kit of Z37H Malak or Bumblebee from Czech language and it comes in 170 second scale. So as you remember we reviewed limited edition with this kit, now it is available in a normal profi pack and you can get it on official Edward website from now on, so we are going to check it closer because it's a commercial sample and it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. So first of all we have marking or actually box art with one of the markings here. It is one of the famous Czech castles or like not Voltavo so or Hluboka nad Voltavo if I'm not wrong. So <laughs> I'm always confusing these two but it's really beautiful one so I recommend to check real photos. And here you can see comparison with my hand. Next on the side we have all six markings which are included into this kit. So as you can see three yellow aircraft and also several uh, various colors included as well. And then on the opposite side we have kit number, QR code and also website where you can find find the digital version of the assembly manual in case you would need one. And I really recommend to download it because it's usually a bit more handy to use, in, especially if you have the display in front of you. So this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside. Obviously we won't be checking the AGM-44, it will be a separate video review. I just forgot that I put it inside. But here we have everything what is included into this kit. As you can see plastic sprues are packed into one plastic bag. Then on the bottom we have assembly manual and various bonuses which are typical for this series. We will check them a bit later. First, as usual, we are going to start with plastic parts. So just give me a second. Okay, so here we have clear plastic sprues. So it comes in this separate plastic bag. Again, I need a second to open it. And here is what we have inside so let's zoom in so as you can guess we have canopy parts and these are molded in a quite nice quality this is a profi pack so i guess masks will be included out of the box and it means that you won't have to waste your time trying to cut any stickers to cover these parts and you're ready to paint this part straight away out of the box. Next we continue with the first grey plastic sprue, so here it is. Let's place it somewhere in the middle. First we zoom out so that you can take a look at the whole sprue, here it is. And it is dedicated to wing parts, note that ailerons are pre-molded while flaps are separate. We have really nice external features and in order to show it I have to zoom in again. So here you can check one of the corners. And everything looks really nice, I don't have anything to complain about, so all external features look impressive for this scale. Let's not forget that this is a 170 second scale uh, aircraft kit, that's why it's even more unusual to see such attention to small features. And if you flip it over here inside we have some guiding elements. Note that ailerons will also work as a guiding elements, which is really helpful, because these parts are not that small even for 170 second scale. So be careful and keep track of this fitment between these parts. Next we have second and the last grey plastic sprue. So all parts fit on two frames and here is the last one. As you can see we have two fuselage halves. Note the tail section is molded separately. We also have cooling parts as a separate elements and everything looks nice so again we can zoom in so that you can check everything in detail. So uh, external features again include rivets and recessed panel lines. We also have here some parts for the landing gear. I would recommend to be careful with these thin elements because it might be easy to break them. I mean they are really thin. It's not because the plastic is tender but it's because parts themselves are on the thin side so it's better to handle them with due care. Next we can continue with some internal elements. So we have some parts for the cockpit, we also have instrument panels in two versions. So plane one will be used for the uh, PE parts and note that propeller is molded as a single piece part. Here we continue with more of uh, small parts here and there. They will be installed both for external features and also for the cockpit. And if you flip it over here inside you can notice that we have 
some guiding elements in the coding section and the same can be said about fuselage halves which is really important because it will help you with assembly it will speed up actually the whole assembly process and help you avoid any unnecessary gaps on the fuselage so really good power design and i think it is on par with recent edward releases so quality is really high and it can let's say rival some uh, best examples on the market next we continue with the mask sheet and this one i have to remove because here we have something interesting and unusual because here we have actually two decal sheets so first one is dedicated to the canopy it's nothing special it is included in every profi pack but next we have this big pre-cut mask sheet so uh, we will have to check the assembly manual in order to understand what is actually covered with these masks but it's quite surprising as i said before because we are used to see masks only for the canopy in edward profi pack kits next we go on with a plastic bag for um, pe fret and this pe fret is pre-painted so that's why i'm going to open it and show it closer here we also have something unusual because this PE fret actually offers several versions of instrument panels this is really <laughs> unusual again for Edward as you can see not only the instrument panels but also the side consoles and central consoles as well because these differ in the cockpit paint so this is a really important feature and you get it out of the box and it will help you to choose the right version for your particular marking. Next we have plastic bag with decals. So all symbols actually fit on one decal sheet. So just give me a second to open it. And we will take a closer look at what is actually included here. Of course decals are printed in Edward. So here you can see them. Let's zoom out a bit. Maybe we close the camera so that it won't be that bright. So here we have all necessary symbols for six marking options as you remember. We also have decals for the cockpit which is really uh, handy for these modelers who don't want to work with P parts. Then they can choose these decals, apply them on the instrument panel and be good to go. And I can zoom in even closer so that you can check the printing quality here which is on the highest level. We even have here the Schmel in Russian because the Chmelak it translates in Russian into Schmel. Okay. I haven't noticed that there was a Russian marking, frankly speaking. Next we continue with assembly manual so we can zoom out. And this is a typical Edward brochure. We have short history note in English. And next, what do we have on the next page? Just give me a second to open it. Somehow these pages are stuck, I can feel it. And they don't want to unstuck. Or maybe it's a thick cover. Okay, maybe it's thick cover. Okay, so here we have parts map. We also have paints chart. Assembly process starts with cockpit parts. And here you have to be careful. As I said, there are several versions of instrument panels of the side console. So you have to choose the right one for your particular marking. Then we continue with the pilot seat and rear wall. Next, we join fuselage halves together. Of course, we insert the cockpit inside. Then we assemble wing parts together. As you remember, the flaps are separate here. Next, we continue with joining wing together with fuselage. And here we install canopy parts as well as we assemble these cooling panels and engine insert. Next, we have tail wing and also elevators, rudder and tail fin. We also have the tail landing gear wheel. Next we continue. Uh, here you have to cut off this whole hatch if you would like to copy markings A and F. And here you can replace the handle with P ports. Next we continue with installation of the propeller and main landing gear. And here you can see these masks. So they will be actually used for the camouflage on the aircraft, which is really surprising. Um, before it was offered several times on Edward Profi Pack kits. So now we basically get a chance to use these masks in order to get a bit more convincing paint finish. So next here you can see that for marking 
A, B, C we also use these masks and for Mark and E you use these masks. This is really cool because it will get you the proper paint finish without um, necessity to cut all the masks by yourself. Here we have first marking which is absolutely the same as what we saw on the box art. So it's an aircraft from Czech Republic obviously. Next we continue with one more from German Democratic Republic. Here we have with white colored aircraft marking it comes from India. Next Slovak aircraft in yellow color. Here we have Russian aircraft in orange color. So this is actually this Chmel or um, Bumblebee. And the last one is Hungarian. Oh, yellow wings, yellow tail wings, black bottom part and white fuselage. Here you can see the stenciling guide. So there are not that many stencils surprisingly. And here on the last page we have also stencils guide. This thick paper actually <laughs> fools me that there are two pages stuck together but actually it's just a thick paper they decided to use it as a cover but <laughs> it's unusual for Edward Kids. So that's all for this profi pack. Of course it should be already available as I said in the beginning so you can get it on official Edward website. I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!